Hi and welcome back to another video and today I'll be showing you how to um add new slots and areas to scripting entities um kit part three. So first you want to open up your new place that you're gonna use and and then after you open that up, um you want to well basically um you just ungroup it where it says Okay, so now that you've added the new place, um, I mean the new kit, don't do this. This is just um, um, because I want to higher my speed, because I want to walk faster. Okay, so um, skip that, and you want to save it. Save it to whatever. It you want. Once you have saved it and it has loaded, um, in just a moment it will load. Okay, now that hit that it has loaded, um, you want to go to security and just. You don't have to turn on everything. Just you need. You just need to turn on enable studio access to IP servers. Well, IPI services. Okay, so once you've done that, let's say you want to, um, let's say you just want to get um, the bamboo fields. This is this is cool and all, but let's say you want a bigger fence. Like let's say you don't want this bit this small of a fence. Let's say you want this big. So if you want it like that, just um make it bigger. And then let's say you want to um, make these two bigger. Okay, let's say you don't want the um bamboo. You can just delete the bamboo. Boom, gone. Once you've done that, you want to take this and um, duplicate. Push it all the way over here. Then I run into a problem. This is easy to fix. Just grab one of these, duplicate, and then there you go. Hmm. So this is going to be the 10B zone. You want to go into door, open up both surface, um, surface GUI. Go to text. Um, if you put the, um, the text to how much your bees you want it to be. So now you can test it. The field won't work yet, but I'll make the field work. So, field won't be ready yet.
So as you can see from one line, that one's open. But if we do another line like this, then you will see that the 10 B zone is unlocked. See? But you can also just do this and get in. So you don't want that. So this is how to fix that. So just go into area barriers. Um, duplicate this one. Make it as big as you want, and then name it um, whatever how much bees it is. So I'm gonna name it ten. Because, well, don't name it 10, just change the 5 to whatever number it requires. And then, now that should help. And um, for the field, you want to go into field 3. No, you don't, you don't need to um, go into it. You just need to go to, where is it? flower script and then go to game data Put the field name so you just want to copy the clover field and then just copy the name into there. And then let's say you want to make it better than the bamboo field. Take everything in the bamboo field, put it like this. Name it whatever you want. Let's say you want 36 of these. Let's say you want um, 46 of these. There we go. And then let's say you want four big ones. You can change these to whatever you want. Let's say you want this to be a blue only. So zero and then 100. Okay, so now it should work. I hope. Because then I just did something wrong. Um, so I think, um, I, well, not I think, but I just need to wait to the slow just because um, it's not working currently. Um, I did this right, it's just, the loading is just not good, currently. I think it's just slow. There we go. It was just frozen a little bit. Okay, now, um... You can go into here, and now it'll work, as you can see. Now you have a really good field. 11 just from um, the normal tool, and that's, oh, five normally. But, like, if you if you do it right and really good, then you might get, like, tons. So there you go if you want to do um, a new field. Um, this will be in scripting entities. I will link it into the kit, into the description. As you can see, it gives tons of pollen with the with the porcelain dipper. You can kind of and you can kind of mix the pollen, but I feel like this is better. There we go.
And now for the hive slots. You might have been waiting for those for a long time. Well, just to make this clear on how it works, let me grab TNT 125. 25. You can just duplicate 25, put it wherever you want. You don't even have to mix out the thing if you're doing like something different. Just name it 26, or I will show you how you can properly do it. So now if you claim this hive, you can put a vicious bee there, you see? Or whatever bee you want. So that's how you add more. It's just simply duplicating the um 25 and then just changing the name or whichever one is the highest and then just changing the name. And so 26. Then you want to duplicate it. 27. Twenty-eight. Now to have the pat to keep the pattern like how it is with all the other ones, you need to have zero movement if you want to follow the pattern. Wait, I have to go back. So twenty-nine, and this will be thirty. Now. It looks kind of normal, but in the actual game of mine, not in Beast Room, but in my game, you can have a total of 50. So now, watch this. So see? Now you can put way more vicious bees. Well, not way more, just five more, but as much as you want. So that was really easy. And you can really do whatever you want with these. Um, and if you watch my um, part three of my game, working on my game, then you can see um, how I um, made new mobs and that stuff. There's a little section of tutorial. So, um, I think that'll be it for today. Um, so, make sure to like and subscribe. Have a nice day. Thank you, and bye.